Welcome back to a very special edition of New Day Northwest. We are coming to you from Climate Pledge Arena to celebrate the start of the Kraken season. And you know we couldn't do that without talking to a player. We are about to have the pleasure of meeting Kraken Center and new dad, Alex Wenberg, over Zoom. Hey, Alex. It's always fun to get to know the players. So we're, we're off the ice right now. Tell me about yourself. You're originally from Sweden? Yes, uh, originally from Sweden, uh, born and raised in Stockholm. Uh, so nothing special. I mean, I, I uh, played hockey for seven years, played a bunch of other sports. I uh, I would say, and if you ask, I got a great two-touch game in soccer. So I would say soccer was probably the other good things I used to do. But uh, other than that, it was pretty much hockey the whole life. And uh, I mean, lived in Sweden until I was 18 and moved over here at 18, 19. And then the rest is, uh, yeah, the rest is history. That's amazing. You said nothing special, but now you play for a pro hockey team, and I think that is pretty special. You were playing with the Florida Panthers before you signed with the Kraken. What was it like to be part of a new team just launching? I mean, it was great. I mean, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to be here as well. Uh, I used to be part of history. I mean, it's a brand new organization. Everything started from scratch, and I mean, that opportunity doesn't present itself too often, so I was... Uh, Super excited for it, and uh, obviously it's it's been great so far. Maybe a little bit more success uh, in the hockey part, but just in general to move to the city of Seattle and see all that. And uh, my son and my son just got born in the city as well, so that was kind of the first thing that happened to you. So it's kind of like a great start to this whole new chapter of your life. I, I well, I wanted to ask you about that. First of all, congratulations. I had one of my children here in Seattle. It's a beautiful place to have children to raise them. So I know he just turned one. Is he walking yet? Is he on the ice already? No, he's walking at. He started almost at nine months. It was way too quick. So it's almost like we have to like calm him down a little bit. Because right now he's just running crazy. But uh, <laughs> at the moment he's actually still back in Sweden. So I kind of miss him a little bit. But he, he will get there sooner or later. So I'll see him soon. How is fatherhood so far? It's great. I mean, it's uh, you can't really like prepare yourself for it, but when it happens, it's just that uh, there's nothing I ever experienced before. So I always like wanted to be a dad, but I just feel like it's just. You just breaks every expectation I had. It's just, it's just such a great feeling. So, I love that. Well, my hats off to you because it's not easy having a newborn, having a baby, and also having a full time job as a professional hockey player. How do you think the team has improved since last year? I think last year, I mean, obviously, uh, everyone was new. You came into a room and there's just everyone get to know each other. And on top of that, we still had this COVID going on, which kind of like didn't really help to get the team going as like bonding wise. But I feel like this year, I mean, we got a bunch of new players that comes in and every guy that comes in is just like really bring something new to the table. So to get the team got together, even right now, we're on this trip right now to get the team building a little bit. I feel like that's just great. So mm -hmm. the feeling around is that we really have something to build on right here. And you can just tell like, everyone just get to know each other better we play better hockey and i feel like this is going to help us uh in hockey wise as well so what has been your favorite thing about seattle so mm -hmm. far i think that seattle reminds me a lot of from back home in sweden like the nature of it is all it's just just to like get that feeling. I mean, we like to be outdoors and just walk around and just to see the nature kind of like really gives you that like homey feeling. Uh, obviously, the rest of it, like come to uh, brand new facilities that just start like top of the end. It's also kind of like just gives you like a wow feeling. Just so, so far, it's been really great. And obviously, being like a dad the whole time, so just like all these like new experiences, it's just been like one after the other, just like gives you that, like it, it's a good feeling. And especially like when you come to a new team, you don't really know what to expect, but it's just been great so far, so. <laughs> Love it. Um, you know, we were just talking about hockey and hockey players, babies not having teeth, and also hockey players missing teeth. I, I have to note, I hear you are missing a tooth right now. How did that happen? I mean, right now it's kind of bad because I got a little bridge going. So at the moment, I feel like, but I went two years without a front two, which is also kind of hard to hide it. So yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm pretty like, I don't really want to show it off because I feel like it's, it's not the greatest look of all time. But maybe as a hockey player, you can get away with it. But I mean, it, it just happened when I was 18 the first time, and then I knocked it out like 10 times since. So I'm kind of used to the feeling to just get it knocked out of my mouth. Yeah. I, I can't even, I like this tooth is, is a fake tooth here. And um, I get what you're saying. I didn't even play hockey to lose my tooth. So uh, kudos to you. Is it a badge of honor though, when you, when you lose a tooth in hockey, you're like, yeah, I lost a tooth. I mean, I will say at, at the first time I said, it, it was kind of cool. You know I mean? If you really feel like, uh, yeah, all the hockey players should go through this experience for sure. But then it almost turns more into 
pain than a, like a cool thing. So, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I would say when I was younger, I really like appreciate knocking it out. But right now I keep my mouth guarded and just pray that I don't get hit in the face, honestly. So do you wait till retirement to have everything fixed? Or are you just going to wait till then? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope that I got a couple more years here. So to get it done now, I, I'm guaranteed it's going to happen again. So I kind of just like fingers crossed that uh, they will stay in for now. And then when you're done, that's where you kind of like settle in and you just be like, okay, it's time. So we'll wait for that. I love it. Well, congratulations on your new baby, on your family, and for being here. It is a pleasure to have you as part of Seattle. It was so nice meeting you, Alex. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Appreciate it. So great getting to know him.